Vigorously clean the concrete surface surrounding the crack so the crack is not plugged with debris. Blow out the crack with compressed air. Miracle Bond would be used to seal the crack on the outside. This is also referred to as capping the crack. Prepare the cartridge according to the label instructions and apply Miracle Bond over the crack, leaving spaces for the port installation. A standard rule of thumb is to place the ports 8 to 10 inches apart. Press the Miracle Bond in and smooth with a putty knife. Miracle Bond should be applied at least 1 to 2 inches wide along the length of the crack. Using a plastic putty knife, apply Miracle Bond underneath the outer half of the port base. Ensure that the port passageway is not obstructed or blocked when applying the epoxy. Center the port over the crack face in each gap and attach. Be sure to seal any pinholes or voids between the ports and the substrate being injected. Allow Miracle Bond to fully cure prior to starting the injection. Keep in mind that epoxy cure rate is dependent on temperature. Always wear protective eyewear during the injection process. Prepare the cartridge of LR321 by shaking for 60 seconds and then stand the cartridge upright for 60 seconds. Insert the cartridge into a dispensing tool. Remove the cap and the end plug. Dispense material into a disposable container until both sides are flowing equally. Remove the flow control that's packaged in each nozzle. Insert the flow control onto the end of the cartridge. Attach the nozzle. Hold the cartridge upright while dispensing to purge out any air bubbles. Dispense one short stroke of material into a disposable container. Do not use the material in the container. Firmly attach the tubing to the nozzle. Attach the opposite end of the tubing tightly over the tip of the first port that needs to be injected. The flow clip should always be closed and only open while dispensing material. Start with the lowest port when injecting vertical cracks or the widest part of the crack when injecting horizontal cracks. Inject until epoxy reaches the next port. Remove the tubing adapter from the port and attach to the second port. Use the cap to plug the port. Begin injection at the second port and inject until the epoxy reaches the third port. Repeat until finished. After curing is complete, remove the ports with a hammer. For a more finished look, the epoxy cap can be ground smooth. Finish by smoothing out the Miracle Bond capping material using a grinder. You'll notice that the 